Hey guys, Ethan from Zimmer Labs back again. Um, today we are reviewing, not reviewing, but just showing off this. Um, this is a Genesis Custom Saber. Uh, it's uh, a good client of mine uh, bought this. Uh, it had a Crystal Focus 8 with uh, color extender, uh, 7.4 volt battery, and quad Cree LED and he really wanted it upgraded to a Crystal Focus 9 uh, with NeoPixels. Uh, turns out the Crystal Focus 9 won't run NeoPixels so he decided he wanted it done with a Teensy Saber. So what I've done is switch this over, um, total overhaul of the inside of the Saber to make it a Teensy Saber NeoPixel style Saber. So it's going to be a pretty short and sweet review but uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. This is your activation button, auxiliary button, kill key down here. So let's pull that out. We've got shine through on this hilt down here, uh, crystal chamber inside, removable blade plug here. Bullet tipped style used uh, the PCB Custom Saber Shop connectors because the way the inside of this hilt works, it's really the best way we could take advantage of it. Plus, these are great, they really are. I personally like my magnetic connector system better, but these are really well done. Whoever designed them for uh, the Custom Saber Shop did a great job. So the way it works is you lock it down with this little fellow here. It's your blade retention. We've got NeoPixels going on inside the blade plug. There is a ring of them going this way inside of eight and then another strip of five going up so that the light really blows up out of this. Um, because it was not real bright, this, the way that this NeoPixel, the way this blade plug is built, it's a solid composite plastic so it needed a lot of light to really show up and it definitely does Let's show you guys the crystal chamber here Alright, so, initially, this crystal chamber had a round crystal in it. Um, upon further, closer inspection, however, it turned out that it wasn't actually a round crystal, and it wasn't crystal, and it wasn't even glass. It was a plastic marble. Um, it had been painted with some glow-in-the-dark paint, which is kind of cool, but at the end of the day, this saber is a bit too nice for a plastic uh, marble. So I replaced it with a small quartz point that has dual points, top and bottom, that fits just perfect inside there. crystal obviously mimics the blade as usual. Now down here we've got a NeoPixel installed directly on the Teensy board, um, which is necessary to get the shine through effect on this guy. Um, one would have expected that this shine through would be up here so that it shines through from the crystal, but that's not how it was originally built. Um, it was originally built with a Crystal Focus 8 that had four little micro LEDs mounted directly to the board that worked kind of like a bar graph. They had an animation. It was one, two, three, four, then two, two, three, four, blah, blah, and so on and so forth. And it just basically went back and forth like Kit from Knight Rider, but, you know, slowly. So we had to do something because otherwise this window wasn't going to be doing anything. 
And as you can see, you get some good shine through there. And it's nice because you can't see the crystal when the hilt is closed, so you want to see something going on as an accent. The good part about it now is that it mimics the blade, whereas before it was basically just on or off. You were getting some light through this eye, but you weren't getting anything uh, related to what the blade was doing. Um, now, I think the strength of this saber really is... First, the unique design. It's a beautiful saber. Uh, second, the build quality. The machining is great. The acid etching is great. Love the fake bone handle here. Um, just really well made. I'm not sure um, who... I mean, I know Genesis Custom Sabers built it, but I don't have any experience with the uh, owner. But he's done some really nice work here. I will definitely give him credit for his uh, creativity, his original originality, his uh, professionalism. It's it's beautiful, beautiful design with lots of nice little elements. I love the knurled knob here. I love that it works in concert and goes through the hilt to get to the uh, recharge port. Um, and I do love this blade plug. It's just really cool looking. Now, I think the strength of the saber now, however, is the blade. It's not really crazy fancy like some of the other uh, sabers I do with accent color cycles and different, you know, precious metal chassis. But the blade on this puppy and the way the different blades that I got to program using the Teensy Saber just really are awesome. So. I'm going to do this guy, not in the dark, but with a little bit less light so you guys can really see what the blades do. Right, so, first blade we did was a blue Tron blade. Then a uh, green, similar, different sound font. Just a gold, pulsing, semi-damaged effect blade. It's got a white flash on clash, white blaster blocks, This is a really, really intense bright blue, like an ice blue with a white flash to start. You can really see how the blaster block works with this guy. And a really cool font. This is a cyan to white, really high flicker, semi-damaged effect. That has a spark tip. We got green with a flash start. This is a lighter green with a mild pulse going on. A flash, flash ignition red. Really good sound font on this one. And again, the uh, little the shine through the window is mimicking whatever the blade's doing. This one is a audio flicker gold blade. As you can see, this thing is just crazy bright and crazy pulsing.
the blaster block and the flash on clash are, are a cool white, like 6000K light. So it gets a great, really great uh, contrast. Stands out drastically. This is a cool white that warms towards the tip. Wow, did I really just say that? This is a white to yellow audio flicker blade with a blue flash. Cyan with a real drastic flicker. Of course, a really badass fire blade. I turn the speed of the fire blade up on this one so it really cranks. It's a blue and white fire blade. Return of the Jedi green fire blade. Rainbow blade. Welcome back. Um, with a really cool sound font that kind of works together with it. It's kind of a silly font and it's kind of a silly uh, blade. This is like if a Care Bear had a lightsaber, it would come kill you with this. Love the stroke blade. Just absolutely love this thing. Tiki Torch Blade, a.k.a. the Star Trek Logo Blade, or Star Trek Star Wars. So when you wave this side to side, you get a logo and a picture if you do the delayed timing of the uh, shutter exposure. Easier said than done, though, but if you watch in the background of this monitor, you get really a good look at a good idea of what this blade looks like. Sorry. And yeah, of course, you heard that right. Uh, the sound track that plays with this one, because who didn't love Airwolf when they were a kid? That's right, baby. Does it get better than that? I suggest that it doesn't. Battery blade, tell you how full she is. And back to the beginning again. All right. Ronnie, let me know what you think. I will get this guy in the mail to you tomorrow. And uh, I hope you like it as much as the others. Thanks again. Anybody have any questions, give me a shout. And uh, props to the guys at Genesis for making a really beautiful hilt.